This is Twin Cities Adventures, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make fiddlehead fern biscuits. And there's some fresh fiddlehead ferns coming up. I'll pick the little guys. Okay, I got my fiddlehead ferns back home all cleaned up. Okay, these are all cleaned up and ready to cook up. So we're gonna prep these first. We are going to blanch these in boiling water for 15 straight minutes. Okay, 15 minutes has passed, so I'll turn the stove off and I'm going to take these out. And then a quick saute, we'll put some salt on those, some pepper, and just give those a few tosses in the butter. Okay, those are nice and sauteed up, so I'll turn the heat off. And now it's time to get out the cleaver. Okay, so first we're gonna mix two cups of regular white flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick mix. And then you're gonna add six tablespoons of butter cut into little pieces like this. Now just use your hands and smash that into the flour mixture until it's all clumpy and chunky looking. Okay, so this is nice and chunky. You can see that clumpy and chunky. That's all you wanna mix that. So now I'm gonna add one cup of cheddar cheese and now here's my fiddlehead ferns these are blanched and sauteed and all diced up so that's one cup of fresh fiddlehead ferns i'm just going to mix that with my hands and i'll make a well in the middle now this is one and one third cup of buttermilk so if you don't have buttermilk, you can make homemade buttermilk. Just put one and one third cups of milk in a bowl and then add two tablespoons of vinegar. I put apple cider vinegar in here. And mix it up and just let it sit there for about 15 or 20 minutes and it will curdle and it will turn into buttermilk. So check this chunky buttermilk consistency out. So we'll pour that in there. And then I'll just fold that in. Until I get my nice batter. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna take our batter and I have a one quarter cup measuring cup. So I'm just gonna take and scoop and plop that onto parchment paper lined cookie sheets. And now into the oven. You go. You're gonna to wanna to bake those at 425 degrees for 14 minutes. There we go, perfect. Nice. We bake those at 425 degrees for 14 minutes. Those are perfectly cooked. Perfect. There we have it, fresh fiddlehead fern biscuits. And here we have it, it's dinner time, so Samuel is gonna be the first one to taste test the fiddlehead fern biscuit with his soup. Go for it. Just gonna dunk it in here. That is delicious. Very, very good. Fiddlehead fern. Fiddlehead fern. <laughs> fiddlehead fern. Fiddlehead fern. Fiddle. Fiddlehead fern. 
Throw that her and <laughs> Fiddlehead Fern. Fiddlehead Fern. Taste test. This is super good. Do you really mean that? Mm hmm. It is good, isn't it? How's your soup? Pretty yummy, huh? Mm hmm. I told you we were having soup. So, anyway, here's my Fiddlehead Fern biscuit, and I am super excited about this. That is amazing. I strongly encourage that you try this. Be creative, experiment in the kitchen. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.